Bishop Tavis Grant, the National Field Director for the Rainbow Push Coalition here at the Alabama State Capitol with two of the most amazing leaders in social justice and civil rights, Tasha Brown and Cliff Albright, Black Voters Matter. But Tasha, tell us, I mean, Wednesday was phenomenal, mm -hmm. uh, young people, labor, faith, where are we now and where are we going? You know, what we wanted people to know is this is what movement looks like. At the end of the day, that is the energy has always been young people who have led led the movement. And what we saw even this this past week, we saw young people who were actually leading the movement. Um, uh, we saw that people were um, from different from the Jewish community, from the Muslim community, from the Christian community, all was here. We're all here to actually be a part of this historic process, but also we recognize that we're commemorating what happened. But we still got work to do, y'all. We still got work to do. Cliff, we're talking about a contract yeah. to disseminate across the country, mm -hmm. mobilize, galvanize, mm -hmm. and organize. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we got two things. We got a contract, that uh, a, a voting rights contract that we want elected officials or candidates that are running for office at the federal level, especially at the Senate level, right? Because we're not going to go around trying to mobilize black folks and, and saying, you know, yeah, when we win these seats, we can get some voting rights. And they say, well, we were supposed to get that last time, right? How, how we know this is going to be different? We got to be able to say, because we got a voting rights contract, we got a pledge from these candidates where we're laying out four or five different bills, John Lewis Voting Rights Act, For the People Act, filibuster reform, D.C. statehood, right? Don't sleep on D.C. statehood. They got to commit to that up front if they want our votes, right? That's what we didn't have with Manchin. That's why he went up there and acted a fool. We didn't have that with Cinema. That's why she went there and acted a fool. Anybody who's running this time, we got to get them to sign that contract and sign that pledge. That's how we're going to mobilize folks with a concrete agenda. And at the same time, we're doing a people's pledge too, right? We got our one million for voting rights pledge that anybody can do. Any community member, whether you can vote or you can't vote, you can still fight for voting rights, right? Even if you've had your rights taken away, you can still fight for voting rights. Even if you're under 18, you can still fight for voting rights. So we got that pledge. And if anybody wants to get involved, they can text us voting rights to 25225. If you can't remember the number, it spells black on your phone. 25225. <laughs> And the words the sentence, voting rights, one word. Black voters matter, black people matter. This is a great time, a historic time. Reverend Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Reverend Mark Thompson, so many who are mm -hmm. here at the state capitol marching since Sunday. Mm -hmm. right. We're talking right. to talk about the vice president being here mm -hmm. Bloody Sunday. The VP came to Selma for um, Bloody Sunday. There were also five camp members. And so what we're saying and lifted up, we're happy in this moment to join us. It was historic. I mean, it's part of the work that was done here that led, open up the path for there to be a woman, mm -hmm. for there to be a black woman, there, for there to be a woman of color. And so in that space, we want to remind people that we got to see, keep pushing forward. And in this region, we're hoping that we will continue to see the kind of support for this region, that this isn't uh, just an event, mm -hmm. that we really recognize that if the roots of our resistance and our struggle is here. And so we have a responsibility to line up and build our power to take care of our folks and really recognize that voting rights is connected to economic justice that's rights. Right. And so this is an area that's been um, deeply, deeply underinvested. And so what we want to see is we really want to be able to lift up and see this area, the Black Belt region, and everywhere that Black mm -hmm. folks live, everywhere that people live, that we have enough resources in this country to make sure that every single person has a home, mm -hmm. that every single child right. has access to quality education, right. that every single human being in this nation gets access to health care. That's right. That is what we're fighting for. That's right. You all see now why I said what I said. Latasha Brown, Cliff Albright, Black Voters Matter, Black People Matter, we are keeping hope alive.